your voice, your vote. Tonight we're getting a closer look at the candidates running for Arizona's 2nd Congressional District. District 2 is now Arizona's largest newly drawn district, reaching most of the northeastern part of the state across 14 tribal nations. And new at 630, our Christine Stanwood shares the candidates' views on Arizona's mostly rural district. Who wins the newly drawn 2nd Congressional District in Arizona lies between Republican Eli Crane and Democrat Tom O'Halloran. The incumbent has represented the area for three terms. O'Halloran tells us he's working to protect the Colorado River and other surface water supplies. I developed the first statewide uh, drought management plan, statewide uh, conservation plan, and statewide water plan back in 2005 when I was in the legislature. Uh, during this current period of time, we've put forward about uh, 12, million, $12 billion dollars in western water for augmentation purposes and stuff. Do you believe that water agriculture are bipartisan issues? I hope they are uh, because we have to work together. Uh, that's one of the things that brings me to the legislature or, and to Congress was the fact that I bring people together. After several requests for an interview, Eli Crane and members of his team did not get back to ABC 15. Crane is a former Navy SEAL and small business owner, endorsed by former President Donald Trump. Crane also a brand ambassador for Sig Sauer Firearms. According to his website, Crane is an advocate for election integrity and border security. He's against vaccine mandates, defeating cancel culture, and opposes abortion. In one of your campaign ads, it says that Eli Crane is too extreme for Arizona. What makes you believe that? Well, I, 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 a number of issues. Uh, first of all, I think that uh, given the, the, what the population has to say in their polling, uh, that, that uh, the woman's choice is a major issue and it's a, an extreme issue right now here in this state and across our country. Uh, he, uh, he believes in a lot of the principles that uh, Trump has backed in the past. And I've worked with the president in the past uh, uh, former president, and uh, some of his ideas were good, but a lot of them were extreme. When we asked O'Halloran about Roe v. Wade being overturned, what would you like to see with that issue? Well, I've already voted to codify that in, in law, and so that's sitting in the Senate now. I believe that a woman should have her choice of what she wants to do with her body. In Phoenix, Christine Stanwood, ABC 15, Arizona.